Okay everyone, so what we're going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to quickly show you how to prepare all the images that you've taken with your camera and get them ready to be brought into Premiere Pro. Now there's two reasons we want to do this. One, the images that you shot might be a little bit too big and the computer will choke on it when it's trying to play it back as an image sequence. And the second one is if you've accidentally renamed or deleted any of the pictures that you needed, that's going to cause a um, break in the numbering system, so we're going to renumber those. If you have a break in the numbering system, if anything changes at all, then what's going to happen is Premiere Pro is going to stop right before that break because it's going to assume that was the last image that you wanted to bring in, even if they're all in like a little folder like we have here for animation. So first thing we're going to do is open up Automator. It should be on any of your Macs. Here it is, and we're just going to take all of these, click on that, select all of these and just drag them in. And that's going to get us get specified finder items. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to resize them. So, so if we go into our photo section here, see some of the options we want and we want to scale images. So we're just going to drag that right over there and it will give you an option to um, add a copy to finder option. You can add this if you want to. Be aware if you don't do this, this is going to resize and rename all your images, so it's probably a good idea to add it. I'm not going to because oh, I'll add it, why not? Okay, this is going to want to copy it to your desktop. Let's create um, someplace else. We're going to go to other and we'll just um, go to my desktop. Well, actually, let's just go here to Tarkovsky a new folder. I'm going to call it sized. Okay, so I'll make copies to that and now we can scale. So um, scale by pixels and what we'll do is instead of 480 we're going to scale this to um, 1080 is about the largest that you need it to be. Okay, after that's the image has been scaled we're going to rename all of them. So if we type in rename up here Uh, we need to be in the library section and then rename rename finder items we're going to bring that down there and we're not going to add that because we already and then we're going to rename it um, we're going to just make it sequential and we can actually uh, create a new name as which which is what I would do and I'm just going to call it animation okay and start at number one and we'll make all the all of these um, four digits long just to be safe okay and so you can see right down here animation that should zero 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 one and then it's going to be whatever it is all right so now we've got that done first thing we did copied over all of our images then we went and allowed it to copy those images, uh, make a copy of those images over to a folder that we called size. You can do it whatever you want to. Then we did scale images to 1080. And then the last thing I'm going to do is we renamed the finder, finder items. We made it sequential, gave it a new name, and we started the numbers at one, and we made it four digits long. All right, let's actually play this. So you can see what it's doing down here. It's right now going through and resizing all of these images. Depending on how many images you have, it might take a little bit of time. And then it's going to go through and rename everything. And that's pretty quick. So if we go over here to sized, we can see that we now have these named animation. And they are all, if we click here, you'll see that they're all sized to a size that would work well for our picture. All right. Um, that's what we need to do there. Let's go to the next step, which is to bring these in to, um, and you can save this workflow if you want to, I'm not going to. Let's go to the next step, which is to open up Premiere and bring these in. So when you're bringing these in, remember the really important thing to do is you're going to go to Import, then you're going to navigate to where you created that folder. Mine was on this external drive called Tarkovsky, and we 
put it in this one called size. Make sure that if you do copy it to a separate folder from the original, which is animation here, that you choose the one from size that you did all the work on. Then we're just going to select the first image in the sequence right there and then click, remember, the most important thing, click that button there, image sequence, then click import. All the files in, are imported and if we look here we can see that we've got, instead of a whole bunch of files, we've got the one file that has everything brought into it. All right, And then you can bring that down into Premiere and work on that however you want to, adding in sound effects or whatever.